So you've closed a deal and hit that goal. After celebrations, you need to ensure that you're accurately recording your placements in Bullhorn. This is vital to ensure that we can invoice the client correctly and then in turn be able to pay you. To record a placement in Bullhorn, open the job activity list and find the candidate that the placement refers to. Click on the binoculars view and then actions and add placement. This will bring up a new page for you to complete the information needed to accurately record the deal. Don't fill out any other data fields at this point because you'll see that because you've clicked from the activity list, the candidate and job are already linked. Just click save. Now we're going to have a look at perm placements. For every placement that you make, you must always complete the general information. And also, if it's a perm role, you must specifically select the permanent job type. You then have to complete the start date, the invoice contact, the invoice currency, and the permanent placement info. If you've correctly filled in all the company details that we've done previously, then the fee will automatically calculate when you enter the salary. There's no timesheet approver on placements and there's no end date. Also, you can ignore the split fee option on Bullhorn. Simply go through, make sure everything's correct and click save. And that's how you place a permanent placement on the system. Now let's look at how you record contract placement. There's a lot more that you have to ensure you get right when you're recording a contract candidate. This starts with making sure you've got their address, their email address, their limited company details, their bank details, and a VAT number of the candidate record before you go to make a placement. The options for you will be different if you've got the US view of Bullhorn. It will automatically be set to the default view of American umbrella company information and American tax information, but you still have to make sure that all of this information is complete. For every placement, you must still have all of the general information filled in, but then you have to make sure that as a contract placement, you select the job type as contract. Once you've done that, you need to make sure that you've ticked that the compliance is checked, a start date, importantly, an end date. You then need to go through and make sure the invoice currency is correct, that their notice period is correct, that their payment type is correct, and that their currency within which they're to be paid in is correct. You then also need to show what kind of timesheets they'll be using. If they are a standard contractor and just use our own timesheets, you click 20 TX. But however, if they work for a client that has a client timesheet, then they'll have to be using that. If the contractor uses the client's portal to log their timesheets, then still click on client TX. However, if the client has got their own timesheet system, the candidate will be required to still upload a screenshot of their approved timesheet from the client onto InTime, as well as entering the days they've worked. You need to then ensure that the bill rate, pay rate, and frequency are correct to ensure that their timesheets pull through correctly. The markup will automatically populate if you've filled in the company information correctly. And once you've populated all of that information, you just need to click save. I cannot stress how important it is to ensure that you've completed everything correctly throughout the whole process of recording a contract placement. Once the placement's been saved, it's very difficult, time consuming, to go back and change records. Also, there's times where it will notify the client, and if it's an incorrect record, that will look really bad for our relationship. This is how invoices are raised, and we have to make sure that they're accurate to ensure our contractors get paid. Once you've saved a placement, all will then go through all of your records and ensure that everything that needs to be completed has been. It will not allow you to save a placement on the system without client terms or a candidate passport. And if there are any fields or documents missing, it will tell you in red at the top of the record and not let you save or record the placement until all of that is fixed. If at any point you've got any questions about how to record placements, please just come and see Mission Control and they can talk you through the process and make sure that you're recording your placements accurately.